got it. Are we live? We are live. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Intercity uh, Jam. Let Give me one minute as I've got to get everything organized. And then we will get started. Oh, yes. Uh, while Michael is uh, getting things organized, uh, give a shout out to everybody who's at Camp Improv Utopia East. Woo! 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 Yay! Yay! Yes, Camp Improv Utopia, place where I, uh, I'll be going in, in a couple weeks for Yosemite. So yes, let's Woo! do all that. And. Okay, and with that, uh, we'll kick this off. Let's see here. Yes, this is of course for, I believe week 75, which is in and of itself on a most ridiculous milestone for Zoom Fob, but uh, the Intercity Long Form Improv Jam. Oh. Okay, come on, let's just see. We are at this moment using our giant supercomputer, which um, uh, takes up like a whole room because we don't have the budget for those small, efficient ones. Randomly uh, assigning all of you to either musical or non-musical improv teams. <laughs> teams, Eves, we are expecting to have three teams tonight, two non non two non-musical and one musical at, that will go for about 20 minutes each. And of course, of course they will all be doing montages, is, which will uh, uh, allow tag outs where you could say tag out blank and the person turns off their camera and you jump into the scene with whoever else is um, there. And we also do sweep edits where you uh, say sweep very loudly and do a sweeping motion with both hands. In fact, hell, I mean, it's been 75 weeks, but let's demonstrate that for everyone yet again. Turn on your cameras and so we I'm John Pardo. How sweep it is. Thank you all. I give you all a B year. I'm a month. Okay. I'm sorry, I mean. Uh A plus for everyone. Uh and of course a or 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 course we while we do love all of you, we don't trust you which is why we do have a timekeeper for all of these sets. I believe we're doubling up on timekeeper and host for the most part. So they will come up and signal when we have two minutes left. That means whatever scene you're on is probably the last scene. So don't be afraid to pile in, get your time in and get the last um, uh, thing. And our timekeeper will officially jump in and call scene uh, uh, when the time is up. And of course, please make sure to keep your video and uh, 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 audio off when you're not in the audience or if you're in the back line so we don't hear background conversations. Uh, the uh, the co-hosts and I are empowered to potentially mute you if you forget. So just as a, um, a warning, but please don't be afraid to message a co-host or myself if you're having uh, sound issues as well. Hell, because it could have been that we muted you and you need us to unmute you. And of course, I'm sure most of you are, are familiar with this, but this is viewed best by hiding non-video participants. So if anyone in here has not picked that up after 75 weeks, uh, please feel free to do that under video options. Yes, and that is of course the gallery view while hiding non-video participants. And we are streaming on Facebook, which I hope you all picked up on. But if you haven't, hey, guess what? Uh, 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 we, people will know us forever. So uh, uh, Faye, uh, I'm a warning if you're uncomfortable with that. Now we do have a number of sensitive topics at this jam. These are not banned, but we do encourage you to probably avoid them. And if you don't, to be very careful about where you step with them. They include anything political or COVID-19, we are related, anything having to do with re religion, spirituality, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing, things of that nature. And these are examples, not an exhaustive list. This is if any of you thinking like a lawyer or lawyer about how to get around these is approaching this in the wrong mindset. And of course we have outright banned topics, no flashing each other, Postino, uh, rape, 
A, they're kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, racism, sexism, other isms, mental illness, or anything that makes a person's identity the butt of a joke. Once again, also not an exhaustive list. And of course, anybody could call a timeout during any scene or set if they are they see something that violates the guidelines and ban topics, turn off the camera, call timeout. And this violates the jam guidelines. Let's I'm gonna move on to the next scene and the scene will be edited. Volunteers and team hosts will be watching the sets and, are, and will hopefully catch something. But if they don't and you're uncomfortable speaking, please feel free to message one of them and they're happy to do it for you. And of course, Tim's for imp that. Tips for improv on Zoom is it's best if there's one person speaking at a time. So though this has though this is an on, ongoing issue, do the best you can, ban on the with it. Treat other players with respect. Don't be rude either during the sets or in the group chat. Use your actual face. It's great if you bring on puppets or something else, but please do it in a way so we can see your actual face as well. Self-manage playing time. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, don't be afraid to call in somebody if you haven't seen them jump in yet. Uh, uh, when improvising music, don't worry about the lag. Your play carries you better and our MDs are highly qualified to support you. I mean, and if Faustino can't do it, nobody can. Uh, uh, when the timer warning is called, get up there. That's the last scene. And of course, have fun, laugh, lightens the mood. Uh, uh, nobody's being held here at gunpoint, I assume. Blink twice if you're a hostage. And stick around till the end. We have a group line game. We have the FISA Trooper announcement for next week. week. And of course, we normally do a uh, feedback and networking session after the jam closes. And of course, spread the word. Please help share the stream, the events, uh, 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 anything else you can think of. Uh, of course, we live or die based on your health. And of course, tonight we have our feature to binge watch out of San Francisco, California. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Featuring Diana Brown and Dan Wilson. So we will have them up later tonight. I don't know what that was. Uh, okay, and with that in mind, I believe we're good to jump right into the first team. I believe we have Angel who will introduce it. Angel. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Michael. So it's time to know our first team of the evening. And so on the first team we will have Dan Wilson from San Francisco. Yeah, and we will have also Diana Brown from San Francisco. Thank you, Diana. You can turn on your camera as I'm saying your name. And we will have Kevin Wilcox directly from New York, New York. And yeah welcome kevin and also colin white from pittsburgh calling a welcome here to the team and good luck team one your timekeeper will be Dawn, and she will inform you when you'll have only two minutes left you'll have 20 minutes for the set thank you and Faustino. Uh, am i blind? no i'm not i'm sorry yes I'm Yes, you're playing in the first team, Faustino. Did you hear All me? Right, well, yeah, I missed. Oh no, you're not. Card. Never mind. No, you got shifted. To oh three. no, I'm switching. Sorry. If you prefer, you can join team one. You can turn on your camera. Come on and be ready for this set. So hi, we're team one. That was chaotic. Um, <laughs> can you name some? Can you name something else chaotic? Mm. Weather. High school. I heard high weather school. and high school. All right, weather high school. <sighs> Mr. And Mrs. Raincloud, um, I'm here to talk to you about your son. Uh, he has not been doing well in his precipitation classes. <laughs> I'm feeling a very worst. high pressure zone moving forward right now. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we are we are seriously concerned. You know that if you know, he will never get to move on. My baby yeah. is destined to become a typhoon. <laughs> yeah, you you, well, you ain't teaching them right. 
You're not teaching them right. You tell him, Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. I've spoken with all of his teachers. Uh, I mean, his, his grades were so great last year. I mean, he did well in precipitation. He was, you know, doing well in, you know, wind. He would, I mean, he had some of the best gusts in his class. And this year, everything has dropped way off. I mean, he's barely a trickle. You think I mean, we're we going to have to move him truth. down to drizzling. What? <laughs> the next this thing. Is uncalled for. My child's a prodigy. The next thing you'll tell me is that you're going to demote him to condensation on the outside of a glass. <laughs> Oh, we hope it will not have to go that far. I mean, because, I mean, frankly, Drizzle is, I mean, the low, is the lowest class level at this school. I know. If we set him down to condensation, I mean, he would have to transfer. And you know what that, that means. You, you need to understand something. I think we have to come clean, Thunder. My oh, husband and God. I have been having some difficulties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My Wait. husband has formed his own high pressure zone over a completely different continent. What? Well, yeah. Okay. Go, go ahead. She said it. She, she said it. Yep. Yeah, I'm in Europe. Then what we're going to have to recommend is, you know, that you, you meet with our family counselor oh god you, know, you you know and your son not um, miss lightning is there an issue with miss lightning we, we, we promise we weren't gonna bring this up uh sweet cloud okay well okay my uh, husband you is don't, a little you, too fond of miss lightning Okay, you don't have to tell me. Obviously, we would want you to have a counselor who is not already directly involved in the issue. Uh, we can bring a counselor I... over from another school. Um, I do have to tell you that the counselor from the other school um, doesn't have as much experience uh, with precipitation. Uh you Sometimes know, and, it's better to not know what you don't know. Okay. So we're going to bring in, um, you know, Dr. Earthquake from the other school. Oh. Like I said, his, his specialty is, you know, a bit more grounded than what we have here. You know, than <laughs> our, you know, student Dr. Population. Earthquake makes the earth move. <laughs> Tap out Diana and Colin. Tap out Diana and Colin. Look, man, you got nothing on me. You got nothing on me. I don't care what you say. Look, that kid, he gave me his lunch money. <laughs> it was a well, gift. Well, I mean, we, we did see hungry. him give it to you. But the issue was you you threatened to... To do what? You, you threatened to wash to away his topsoil. Oh, yeah. You'd love that, <laughs> wouldn't you? You would love that if I would just get wet over the school. Well, you know what? Me and my gang, and yeah, that's right. We're a gang. We ain't doing a single drop around here. <laughs> we are the Californians, and we ain't giving you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> would you well, call my parents uh, in again? you call my parents in again? Do you have any idea what they do to me when I go home? Thanks to you. Thanks to you, principal. Well, yes. They grounded you. You had to spend, I, I mean, I know, we, I, we discussed it with them. You had to spend six weeks as a lake because you were grounded. Yeah, exactly. As a lake. Do you know how humiliating it is to be forced to pool like that? Anyone can just walk by and wade right through you. It's humiliating. Principle. Well, Mr. that big man, Mr. Big Cloud in the sky. Uh, 
let me tell you. You don't realize that your actions have consequences. <laughs> I'm a principal. All I deal with is consequences. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was a teenager once. I understand. Okay. I didn't get to be principal cumulonimbus <laughs> without having to go through some hard work. And yes, when I was your age, I once spent a summer, not as a lake, but as seven distinct ponds. <laughs> you know how hard that is? I'm guessing a lot. A lot. Yeah, but you chose that. You chose that. I chose to be arid. I chose to be arid. And because of you, my rights were violated. I was forced to be damp. <laughs> Marshy, even. I had fish in me. <laughs> fish! That's not right, man. That's not right. My entire family, the clouds. And they made me get into the earth and have things swimming through me. You want to be arid? I want to be arid. I want to work out. I want to amount to nothing. I don't even be on the register. <laughs> I just want to live my life as the idea, like the dream of somebody. But somebody would think that maybe someday they'll get what I can give them. But no, I just want to be the dream, you know? You know what? I know just the thing. I have the perfect mentor because I actually happen to know somebody who has been living the last 30 years is arid. You got somebody in Arizona? Nevada? New Mexico? Now, he, he's very gruff. He's gruff. You know, because you know, he doesn't, you know, he's very much a loner. I'm totally doesn't like to have my gang is around. Like person. But <laughs> I think the two I think the two of you would be perfect together. Okay. As like a mentor mentee thing. Okay, good. So does this mean I don't have to see that Mrs. Lightning person with my parents? We can just go with the arid thing? You're gonna go ahead and give me what I want? Well, like I said, I'm going to uh I'm going to introduce you to the mentor. And, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes, you know, see if that works out. Like I said, he's very gruff. You know, he... You say like that's going to frighten me. Like, being gruff is scary. I mean, come on. What well, you, you know, he... Do? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. You can go uh, introduce yourself to him right now. Right now he's here. And I hate it when clouds do that. <laughs> the the this is why you don't want to have any part of that life. Hello, Mr. Billy Goat Gruff, or whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> Mr. Gruff and Dry. It's me. It's me. Oh, it's not me. Okay, I'm your dad. I forgot. No, it's okay. <laughs> My entire childhood right there went up in a moment. Yeah, you're my dad and you forgot. Fine, just blow on by. Go over to Seattle, see what I care. It's me, Atacama. That's right. No, look down. Whoa! Me. I'm the ground beneath you. You're so cracked. You look like you look like the play at Burning Man. You want to be arid. This is what being arid is. <laughs> You're harsh. You're I'm so arid. harsh, I can't even come on camera. Look, it isn't that I want to be dirt. I just want to be... Look, everyone expects so much of me, you know? They they want me to, to fill the world with moisture. It's a, lot, it's a lot of pressure, but I'm not sure I'm ready to be... Alkali Desert Flats. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no offense, but people can't even walk around you barefoot or they're going to eat up their feet. I know. That's the lot in life that I chose for myself. 
Okay, when you but told you know me, what? Which, which really disturbing. I did. We did off though. Oh, I did it again. Uh, no, hold it. Wait a moment. Why are you making me a bit muddy? I mean, seriously, you're you're cloud. You make me very nervous. I kind of wet myself a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's... Oh. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to. I've been holding it in for like the entire semester. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. So you come into my store, huh? You, is anyone there? I can't see well. Ah, uh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> You're scary. So, yeah, <laughs> a, 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 everything in this store yeah. they will grant you a wish, but it comes with a price. Oh. Well, I'm only in third grade, but gosh, I wish I were... An upperclassman in sixth grade. Oh. <laughs> I bet you do. Janice, Janice. I got just think. What is it, Stewie? You can have one wish in the world. You want to get a couple of years older? That'll happen in time anyways. Yeah, but I can't wait. I'm impatient and impetuous and a lot of other words that begin with I that my mother finds indiscriminate. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I got just a thing. Wait a minute. I Mr. got... Mr. Oh, you're going to change your Mr. mind. Mr. Poobison. Huh? Yeah, Mr. Poobison. Yeah. I mean, you've been keeping us two at a time to come in your store for years, and now suddenly you're telling me the shelves are stocked with magic? Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Stewie's got a point. If you got magic, what am I going to throw it away on two extra years for? I mean, is, is this kind of like when you go to In-N-Out Burger, and if you say animal style, they give you things that aren't on the menu? Did we do a thing that gave us the extra, like, wishing menu? Because this is... If I had known you had wishes for sale, I would have been saving up quarters for, like, a lot longer. Yeah, I wouldn't have broken oh, that piggy yeah. bank of mine. I swear I could hurt it. Never mind. <laughs> Let me tag out Colin and Dan. Well, uh, I mean, this probably isn't going to come as a surprise after the last six years, but you're going to have to repeat the sixth grade. You wished to be a sixth grader, and as a result, you are now a sixth grader for life. <laughs> You see, I read about this. Or was it a Twilight Zone episode? Anyway, I realize the error of my ways. Isn't there some recompense? C can't I have a reckoning and recant? I'm stuck on our words today. It's dictionary day. Well, uh, <laughs> since I'm not the one you made the wish with, uh, that's not really up to me. Um, all I can do is say that, you know, once you're 18, you know, you can. Oh, sorry. Easier. Oh. I got just a thing. I don't want to be in yeah. sixth grade forever. I'm well. looking forward to sophomore year. You're still fresh and dewy and <laughs> still filled with optimism, but Let me tell you <laughs> something. take you seriously. Let me tell you something. I got just the, the potion you need. It'll make your sophomore year oh. forever. Janice. Stewie? You look the same as you have for the past few years. It's kind of weird. I know. It wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I mean, after all, some girls in sixth grade start to, well, you know. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. I, I just came in for some condoms. I mean, I'm 18 now. 
I'm all grown up. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, you, yeah. Can I just get some of those? Wait, Stewie. Yeah. Oh, and I'm um, also animal style for the enlargement. All right. Yeah, you got it. Okay. I don't know what you're talking 15, about. Ninety-nine. There you go. You don't want to know. I don't you think don't I'm wanna... ready for this. If I drink this potion, you're not. I just want to go back to third grade. You know, Janice, back in third grade, I was kind of in love with you. What? But I grew up, and you just kind of How do you stayed mind the same. My so it's I my mother's call. fault. She I've got told a date. Us. What? Well, I've actually got three. I got a pack. Oh, he's got plans. How did you? But let me tell you. Yes. If you don't want to be in sophomore year, and you don't, you want to be in third grade. I got just a thing. You know what I think? I think I've learned a hard lesson today. You. Yeah. You here doling out potions and condoms and Mr. Bubble Super Packs. <laughs> I, I think you're the problem. I think you should drink this potion and go back to third grade yourself. Um, you, you wish. I wish. I, okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Bottoms up. I'll stand here and watch you and gloat. What's happening? All right, third graders, let's sit down. And we're going to begin our let. Uh, could you please stop smoking in class? <laughs> Okay, you know, mommy, you know, you know, you know, if you're going to keep smoking, we're just going to sweep the scene. Okay, sweep. Okay, <laughs> sweep. that's fair. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Principal Nimbus, Principal Nimbus, you still in here? Hey, remember me? Are you a big problem student from like 10 years ago? Uh... Yes, yes, yeah. I absolutely remember you. Yeah, I mean, look at you behind the same desk. You know, I I just wanted to say thank you. I'll, I'll make this quick. I feel this urgency all of a sudden, you know? If you hadn't called in my parents on me, it, I might not have been anything. I, and now I, you're... Destroying New Orleans. I'm a hurricane, man. Me, the kid. Weep. Sweep, 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 sweep. Okay. Uh. Get up there. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Congratulations. You have been selected for a very selected. specific school. <laughs> it's what, what? a school of magic, a school of mystery. <laughs> it's a school of wonder. All you have to do is pay the 20000 dollars a semester <laughs> tuition fee and you will be whisked away to a whole new world come out <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I mean man i hmm this sounds like what my dad calls a pyramid scheme <laughs> or a scam or a fraud or Hold on, I, let me get out my controller. Um, a trick. You needed a, a thesaurus to find trick? You know yeah, maybe I, you're, really, maybe really you're just not for our school. Also, I no, should probably yeah. not be standing in the pouring rain. Probably, so, yeah. I'm just um, going to I, vanish I'm... into mist. Into mist. All right, bye. And scene. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm sorry if I was bad. I'm sorry. I'm so bad. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so bad, you're good. Uh, Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Well, well, you'll be coming back later. God, hope they don't jump out on us. I'll have to do solo profit one minute. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to me. Uh, You'll do fine. Uh, okay, everyone. So let's see here. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so some of you may not know this. And if you don't, I don't know what I can do to help you. But we actually have an Etsy shop with like merch and swag and stuff. Woo! We have mugs, shirts, pillows, something with Faustino's Beabelicky on it, all sorts of stuff. And Faustino technically wow. loses money every time we sell something. Oh, so no, no, no. Uh, uh, let's bankrupt Faustino and buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Dawn. Woo! Ow! Ow! Oh! Uh, <laughs> of course, of course, <laughs> mine's in the laundry, so I'm not wearing it tonight. But I'm wearing it at spirit. Wearing it at spirit. There's Faustino. Uh, and of course, we are moving on to our musical old, old set of the night here. Let me pull that up because I'm too disorganized for anyone to ever let me actually host this show. Uh, let's see here. So we have tonight, we have, a uh, we have for your musical team tonight, Jennifer Osborne Prescott of Woo! Connecticut, Tanya Odesho of Santa Cruz, California, uh, Angel Canez of Sevilla, Spain, Marty Cohen of Los Angeles, California, Jorge of Manila, Philippines, and Janice Mateus of New Jersey. This is your musical team tonight. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anyone. Uh, uh, get a suggestion and have a great set. And of course, we have Faustino acting Yay. as MD tonight. Let's give him a round of applause. Yay. And I will also be the timekeeper tonight. Yay. So keep an eye out for me. From downtown Fremont Street, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yay. Hey, stay away from me. Stay away He's, from me. So keep He's, an eye out for me e, to know when you have two I'm a minutes left. Get a suggestion and have Don a good set. Is Don in the set? Is Don in the set? Uh, yeah, because he's mentioned in the messages in the. That's why yeah. I brought it up. It's not written down. Uh, right. Don, okay. you want to be on the musical tonight? Yeah, sorry. All right. Don, 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 Don. Oh, you Come guys! On and join us all. That's why hey, I did Don. it, just so I could get that reaction. Wait, wait, guys, um, no, time out for sorry. Yes. Time out for a second. So then we're doing. Since we have this one, are we still doing three teams then? Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. So there was a, a person who jumped into the non-musical. So um... perfect. All right, twenty minutes of me and fending off homeless people. <laughs> okay. As long as you're not homeless. Bye. Oh, <laughs> who's gonna get a suggestion? Yeah. Somebody. Please tell us something that makes you happy. Apple pie. Apple, Apple pie. pie. Thank you, Apple Pie. Shut up! Shut up! What happened? It smelled so good. What happened? So good. Oh, ow, ow, oh. ow, ow. What happened? Can I help? What oh, happened? hey, honey, how are you? <laughs> Fine. I mean, well, what happened? I mean, you, you, it looked like you were taking out. It smelled great. And all of a sudden, you know, it was as if a swarm of bees attacked you. Oh, gosh. No, no. It's all. I was just, I decided to make some pie for the PTA meeting and I thought I'd go ahead and um, pull it out a little early. Oh, my eyes hurt. Oh. Ooh, all right. Let's wow. see how, how this thing tastes. Mm. What, okay. what kind oh. is it? Um, it looks like a mixture of apricot and pear it's and maybe a bit of cherry well it's supposed to the apple looks kind of oh god i can't make apple pies what am i even saying i try so hard the perfect pie baker and make sure that all the ladies in the neighborhood are jealous of me but every time i make a pie i just burn my face I burn my face every time that I bake. 
they burn my face because I can't make apple pie. It makes me want to just cry. But I love your pies. Even if you do not like them, I love your pies. Even if it brings tears to your eyes, I'm willing to give it plenty of tries because I love all your pies. Where would I be with that? Can I have a piece, please? Of course. Oh, <laughs> this makes me so happy. Here you go, hon. Wow, it's great. Really? Yum. Y Yum. You think it's good? It's good. Oh. And it and, and anyone who says they don't like it, just give them a face full of pie. You know what? This is why I love you so much. You've always been oh. so good to me. Oh my goodness. Oh. I, well, as a matter of fact, I'll take a face full of pie. Oh, oh me too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they don't make it like this at Marie Callender's. No, they don't. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much too. Oh, wow. ah. Wait. I'm allergic. I'm I don't think you look sexy. What about this? <laughs> no, it's not working, is it? <laughs> no. You know, um, you're gonna just have to face it. Like, hey, you, you might be a spinster for the rest of your life. I don't like the word spinster. It has negative pejorative connotation. Well, I was gonna <laughs> say, I was gonna say you were gonna be like an old lady that kisses cats, but I was trying okay, to Okay, I'll take spin but spinster. Spinster works for me. Spinster, I'm a spinster forever. <laughs> I'll take it. How did you how did you I mean you've been married what? three, four times now? But six? Six times. Six times. I just like to be married. I like the ceremony. Yeah, those are amazing weddings. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember. Oh. I'm, re I'm really not into, like, into the marriage. I just like, really like, I like just to have the grandiose of having a white dress. Even though I went, like, six times, I always wear a white dress. Yeah, the party. It's all about the party. You know what it's really about? I'll tell you. All about the orders. All about the canopies. All about the pigs in blankets and the shrimp champagne. You had that once. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> All about the little ham roll ups. All about the little things with toothpicks in them. All about the buffet for you. No commitment to the man you chose but the food was very good indeed a marriage is a waste of time i said marriage is a waste of time doesn't matter what type of man that you get, I said, marriage is a waste of time. Good 
Could you maybe get married again and we could have another one of those fabulous weddings though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this guy, he's he's interested in me. He got money, so I told him I'd get married to him. I just met him last week. Excellent. Shrimp fountain. Look, don't try to project your loneliness on me, okay? Weep. <laughs> so, um, so what? Uh, one of you uh, is uh, getting married uh, to the other one. You will be uh, faithful uh, forever. Uh, who's got the ring? I got the ring. Okay, who's got? You got? Who got the other ring? Oh, um, the other ring. Oh my God, I forgot about it. I, oh. I, I, I'm sorry. Here, here, you can use mine. Here, hold on. Oh, thank you, here. thank you so much. Thank you're, you. You're so welcome. You're okay. So, uh, oh so, some of you, you had some words. Someone had some original words that they wanted to say to everybody. Uh, at this oh my one God, it is so hard to get married we need rings we need words oh my god i'm so, i'm sorry jim okay honey we got this anna yeah oh, okay jim yeah uh, maybe we can improvise some words because <laughs> i forgot oh, to to write them too oh that's a good idea yeah why don't you do that uh, Take my hand and a banana. <laughs> a banana. We're going to be Aww. together for a lifetime. You see, you have my heart. Even though I become an old fart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dream one really for this big step. But still, I'm sorry how many things I forget. I believe you love me. Apart from that, because when we are young, we could make oh. love is like a tattoo. You gotta know what to do. <laughs> When you're over 80 and you're growing sa saggy, you will have to accept each other with the love that you have, you too. Oh, Anna Banana. <laughs> yes. So with the, with the power invested in me, uh, I'd like to uh, 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 call you uh, at uh, a significant other and significant other uh, uh, forever, or at forever. Least as long as this contract <laughs> is official. Sweet. Bros, I'm so tired that we gotta be here doing the popcorn stand. I mean, what they think we are, huh? I know, it's like really weird how they think about us like that. I know, I know, like, you know, there's more to us. There's yeah. more to us than this beautiful. I got a CPR card, okay? I got a CPR card. I remember, I took the class with you. There you go. There uh -huh. you go. You know, that might just kind of season up the the way you just spit that as those residue, I think that might help the, the popcorn a little bit. All right, think so. 
Yeah, there you go. Huh? They won't know the difference, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, there's, huh? more, there's more to life than us being popcorn. I mean, why can't we be ticket agents? I got a personality. I can say hello. How are you? Come this way. There's more to me than what the eyes you see. I got a lot of skill in this mind of mine. I know how to please the crowd because I got personality. Girl, you know you've got it all. You got rock it. my world, all of it all. You've you got a personality. You've got personality. That's right, no one can get in your way. That's right, because that's you right. are the best with every day. And look, ooh, that's ooh, right. That's you right. are that's gonna right. do the best you have. What do they call it? Personality. personality. Well, let me tell you. I get it out Whoa, you got personality. Wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I you got every morning. I look in the mirror. I said, Hey girl, you is all about that. And I hold my head high because I got personality. I got personality. Yes, she does. I got personality. Yes, she does. I know what's going on. You know, hey. this, is, this is why I love being best friends. I know. Yeah. By the way, do, do you guys have any tickets for sale? I know. Go over there with the popcorn, will you? We're busy here. I mean, go over there. With okay. The but you got so much personality. I just had to come over. Oh, well, thank you. You want to? I'm going to give you a bag for free here. Oh, wow. Thank you. You uh, you Thank see, you. I'm telling you, they're wasting our talent here. Uh -huh. they're wasting, okay. We yeah. should be as a matter of fact, we should be the manager of this of this movie theater. I vote for you because like you're really talented. Oh, I, and so are you. I mean, like, hey. Because, because we got personality. We know how to please the crowd. I said, we have personality. We're gonna go far. I might have a mustache and eat an apple. I'm really confused, but I'm having a good time. Personality, that's what we got. Personality, that's what we have. Personality, sing it, girlfriend. We're filled with personality. Oh, yeah. Nobody knows how to oh. be. Ah. Ah. We're going to move it here ah. and now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, oh. What's wrong? Oh. What happened? I, I just think I just said on some butter. <laughs> Tweep. Edit. <laughs> uh oh. What's wrong? <laughs> oh my God, weren't you two just married? We were married together inside a pie. <laughs> oh, some of those pies are really good, but some of them, you know, it's like there's a bunch of hair, like it came from a beard or something. I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, you have one uh, bad apple, it spoils the, the whatever. Yeah, but the other apples are still pretty good. There's a lot of other. We come from different sides of the world. I'm a Fuji. He's a Macintosh. It's weird. Oh, my God. Thought we you two, are, thing, you but... two are totally incompatible. I mean, how I could, mean who, who would have thought of putting you together? That's insane. Well, at the core, we are both, uh, core. both is the same the as, as we are to, from the core. At the core, yeah. 
the yeast. Uh, that's true. <laughs> and that's true. Inside at the core, all apples are the same. You know, you really can't tell them apart from the core. Yeah. You know, the thing is, of course, you know, all these apples, they may look different outside. Some are red, some are green, some are miscolored. But, uh, you know, you two actually, you know, now that I think about it, if someone took a bite out of one of you and then about the other, I don't know if they could tell the difference. I don't know what they can tell because apples taste the same. I don't know if you can tell a Fuji from a Macintosh. By gosh. <laughs> but if you want to get down to the core, that's where there's nothing more. And there you know all the seeds and what's left taste the same. When you look at an apple, you'd be surprised what's inside. It looks from the outside that there's something completely awry with the apples. The, the apples. apples. Some say a Macintosh is rather mealy, but when I see him, I get all the feelies. Maybe a Fuji have a little bit of bite, but I might be in love with a Macintosh. And there's so many kind of apples. But they can all get along. You get one here and you get a golly and nothing can go wrong. Everything's fine. You ever think of maybe taking one apple and marrying it to another apple and putting it into a thing called a pie? Just saying. Wow. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to put these unfortunate apples together. And who knows what will result. How many apples died for this pie? Uh, and a red delicious. Yes. And, and maybe a Mrs. Smith? Oh, wow. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me uh, where they're holding the apple contest? Whoa, that's the queen of the apples. Wow, your majesty. They're not worthy. Oh. Not worthy. Oh, you kind of you kind of scared me. I'm out of here. Oh. Apple a day. Meet the doctor away. Apple a way. It's marriage and I Apples, apples, everybody has an apple. Apples, apple. apple. And maybe an apple lately. Oh. oh, she's eating one oh. of her own. I can't stand it. I must oh. fly. And oh. see. Is it over? Great job, team two. <laughs> You for that just wonderful silly time. <laughs> it, it was appalicious. <laughs> of course, it doesn't quite stand up to my longtime favorite in the uh, genre. Um, in the genre, give me papaya or give me death, but it's definitely up there. Uh, uh, we know what we would choose. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so we are up to, and of course, this uh, 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 jam is only possible with the help of all of you, both in the audience and out there in the larger improv world. And we here at the City Improv are always looking for volunteers. We need volunteers to help 
to help run this show. We, of course, need guest troops to headline. We are always looking for musical directors, jammers. So please don't be afraid to uh, 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 tell your friends, blackmail your enemies. Whatever it takes in order to get more people to come here, we, uh, we encourage that's not legally threatened. So please don't be afraid to talk and share us. And uh, uh, thank you all. Uh, okay, so then I guess we're moving on to team three, which I think is gonna be introduced by Faustina. Woo, yay! Yay! Is this gonna be toasted by Faustino? Oh, uh, I guess Faustino is connecting Ah, now. why don't you introduce yeah. us? Yeah, that's an amazing idea. Woo! So. Yeah, on the third team, we will have Greg the Wild, directly from Berkeley. Oh, yeah. Oh Woo. We will have oh, also Lana Lodge from Ottawa, Canada, and Faustino, yeah, yeah. the great Faustino from yeah, Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also Jim Fry from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have Michael Varkovsky from San Diego, California. Oh, cool. I think oh, I saw cool. it. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, and finally, Don Robertson from Corpus Christi, Texas. Ooh. And um, yeah, so you'll have 20 minutes for the set, and um, I will be your timekeeper. <laughs> Good luck, team three. Can we get a suggestion of your favorite Halloween movie? Just because that's coming up yeah, not funny. very soon. Scream. I heard Scream. I heard Scream too. Right now, I hear <laughs> Scream as well. Die hard. Ah, ah. What a frightening, what a frightening thing that that was. Did you see it? I just, that was, yeah, that was me. I was <laughs> coming out of the. So I guess you did. I, see I have it. my makeup on now. I'm sorry. I, yeah, now I feel. <gasps> I don't feel bad. You you makeup looked great. <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably didn't even see that I didn't have makeup on. That was rude of me. I, I'm feeling self conscious today. Sorry, I'm just distracted by the. Uh, there's the frightening situation, but also, I want to uh, tactically navigate this linguistic um, <laughs> encounter. Oh God! The, what what was that? That was. Do you, have you, I thought you were. I thought you were exaggerating. I thought you were just. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. That really um, helps me in many, in many ways. Uh, uh, yes, there's this uh, an actual, an actual, frightening threat that's not completely unrelated to, to your makeup, which is excellently applied. Thank you. Um, are you sure it's threatening? I'm not absolutely sure. I feel like nothing has happened to us yet, but it sounds your your makeup is horrible. Oh man, it seems it, it seems at least it's a a hater. You might say I've heard to like not care about <laughs> I the. Feel like, I feel like threat is like a strong word though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but it is. I mean, you, you have you seen it before? Like it's. Like we don't know its capabilities is all I'm saying. I didn't see it before. Like ever in your life, right? That's what I'm saying. This is like weird. I mean, Whoa. I don't. He doesn't like your shoes, shoe choices. Whoa. Yeah. I no, I I do like the shoe choices. It's lying about me. Okay. <laughs> well, I care. I care what you think, but this thing is. Um, I mean, to say that it's threatening us, it's just, it's... Well, I'm willing to back up on that. I'm willing to, yeah. I'm willing yeah. to back up. I did scream. I appreciate and that's... that. Ooh, I'm the ghost of his inner boss. He can't lie. I'm, I'm willing to follow your lead uh, here and how we should proceed with in, 
is this like, is there a protocol for, should we just walk away? Were you listening no. though? Like he said, he's the ghost of something and that he can't lie. Let's listen. Could you repeat he that? He can't lie. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's kind of loud here. I'm the ghost of bread dinner thoughts. It's oh. <laughs> I it is probably not that we should we should be wary <laughs> of what it claims is in my mind is all I'm saying. Ooh, okay. He's he's fearing that he's not gonna score with you tonight. <sighs> okay, well I didn't think I thought it was lying and that was ridiculous, but then when you heard him say that you were like, that's not what I think, and now I now I feel like maybe it's... To be honest, that time I couldn't actually hear what it said, but I didn't want to, it was awkward for me because I didn't, but I also didn't want to agree with what it said. This is because it... This is the ghost talking again. Greg okay. wants to score, but he can't. No, still no. Greg wants to <laughs> Greg score. Greg wants to score. Greg wants... Ah, woo, environmental hazards. How is that? Are you thinking about the environment right now? No. Yeah, it looks like you. <laughs> what your thoughts are, just how you responded to that. <laughs> you know, it, it seems so lost nowadays. I had no idea what the suggestion was about you. Yeah. God's sakes, Faustino, if you're not going to try, why do you bother logging out? I try, okay? It just so happens that I have every single key, but if you have every single key, chance of the key that you need gets lost because you have so many keys. You don't, you don't think I know that? For God's sake. You know, it's hard to support a family of four when you have a backpack that's full of these keys. You know how hard it is every night? Like I try not to wake you up to like open the front door to sort through every single key. Do hey, I know it? Hey, hey, sir, are you an enter entertainer? I've, I'm kind of waiting here with my family for you to like play some music. What? You want me to? Play? Yeah, we're, I can see that clearly that you've got lots of instruments here. You, you're some some kind of entertainer, I assume. I have like four kids. They're all waiting i've been where's the music dad i don't know how to ask what? what the hell uh why um... are these street urchins not amusing us I I know, I'm I'm not not can handlers this it is for improv you know what improv is like uh, that you're I, not, I, not I, getting I, a tip you want you want piano is that, what, is that what you want you want me to just whip out a piano and start playing it well, i like to it. hear your music I, you have uh, one right there. I am, but I'm breaking. I, Why won't I you start? Know. You're not starting. I don't yeah, think you're going to be happy. They're clearly desirous for Ooh. the music. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, you're bad okay. at this. I'm very bad at this. Look, yes. you, look I care more about my family than all your old piss five things, okay? I can't talk to you. Here's some music, right? Some... Um, where over the rainbow, you have to give me 20 bucks right now, or get out of here. You have uh, issues, mister. Children, let's, yes, let's, let's, let's I could buy an entire album off of Amazon for 20 bucks, and it would be better than that. So, no, have you, you don't get my money. It's free. Oh, my hey, God. You, don't, you, you don't talk to your father like that, first the, of the all. Children, the off. children have, have spoken, sir. I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have to move on to a, a different... You don't um, know us. Thunder. You don't know us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Sweet. We don't have a moment. Sweet. <laughs> I want to go see a magic show. You want a lot of things from me. Oh, I didn't. I, if you don't want to come with me, that's OK. No, I really don't want to go with you to a magic show, just like I didn't want to go with you last night to the movies. <sighs> and I didn't want to go two nights ago up to a restaurant. Okay, should I stop asking you to do things with me? I just want to spend some time with you. Oh. 
here at home. Okay. I thought we were going to do a song for a second. I heard something. Uh, no, uh, no song. Uh, it's half an hour later. Okay. We cut to two hours later. See, wasn't we cut that fulfilling? Four hours later. Wasn't that fulfilling for you? I was trying really hard of thinking of something to do at home that whole time. <sighs> home Just being boy. with you was enough. Oh. I didn't have to do, I didn't have to be, I didn't have to pretend. I just. I think we need better communication. That whole time I was feeling very bored, but you thought we were having a moment. I think we should talk about how we feel more. Those were the most fulfilling six hours of my life. Oh my God. What did you like about it? You. Oh. I got done. Uh, Ma'am, are you still with us? Uh, your uh, driver's test finished like an hour ago and I want to leave the car. <laughs> oh. Like, you, can, you can take off your seatbelt, but I didn't want to disturb you. You just stared into the distance for whole like hour we were waiting. You passed your test. Okay. Do you even remember what happened? I don't remember even taking it. Um, does that mean I still get my license if I don't remember passing? I'm always with you, my dear. Oh, that's weird. Do I get um, my license? I don't know. Did you hear that um, inner monologue just now? Oh. Was that your yeah, inner monologue? Yeah, I love my mom very much. Ma'am, I feel like you're just... I don't know if I can give you your license if you're just not aware of what's happening around here. But I drove good. Yeah, but you don't remember what happened. Like you almost. I child remember before. now. No, you, no, you're lying. Yeah, no, we you're went lying. through the roundabout because that was part of the test. I'm satisfied being roundabout. here with you. Oh no! Oh no! So you can hear her though. Okay. Oh, so we both can hear my inner thoughts then. Yes, good. They're yours. That's better. Um, I, suppose, I suppose if you can hear my inner monologue thoughts, I can just give you your license. Yeah, if you don't give me my license, I'll tell everyone you have a weird inner monologue. I don't need to okay. go to the movies to be satisfied. I think oh, it's you know mine. What? Yeah, those are yours. Because like I had plans to work later. And I don't go watch movies right now in the current state of affairs. So I think those are actually your inner thoughts. Yeah. Um, you okay. should probably go. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, just go home. Here's, here's your license. Okay, don't tell me that I passed you. But like, can you please just go to your loved one and just say that you love them? Because I'm a little afraid of your future right now. But you can't pay attention to I yourself. will never leave you. Hope she doesn't crash her car. I don't want to go home. Wow, you got a lot of baggage. You want to talk to those ghosts? You know why. <laughs> I don't. Okay. I'm happy I got my license. This is nice. You left me for too long. I went to get my driver's license. I can't be anywhere except here with you. Um, just, just in, uh, coming from the car radio, blah, blah, blah. Uh, house on 321st Street, uh, just burned down with uh, a family of three or maybe four inside. Um, you cannot locate the mother, so call this number uh, if you see them. Uh, this has been an emergency transition. You know that I can't leave this house. But you were in the driving lesson with me. I was here the entire time. Okay, that's what I thought. Ma'am, can you get out of the car? Like, I need to, I want to go to oh, Wendy's. Oh, I'm still in the car. car. 
Yeah, I was Jeez, listening man. to the car radio. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Can I go home? Knock, 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 knock. Oh, I have a key to my own house. I'll just come in. Oh. She opens the door and it's just a pile of ashes. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> but I am still here waiting for you. alone hey. look what you did you scared the female away again <laughs> i was gonna show her a magic trick yeah 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 women don't like magic tricks that's what i've learned nobody likes magic tricks. i had inside information about this about this particular person she said that she wanted to go to a magic show. I can't tell you how I know this, but I know. I'm sorry. I, I was still within earshot. Oh, I do sure. I do love magic, but that's very creepy that you know that, sir. Please leave it's me alone. Magic. We no. need to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, this is why you're still <laughs> single. <Greg>. Feels <laughs> awkward now. Hey, Greg, Greg, can you give me the green card? Oh. Can you give me your magic wand again? Okay, Fine. we have people coming in and out of, we have people tagging in and out and their ghosts keep following them. We can't have you have magical artifacts anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be another second. I didn't realize where the powers were coming from, but it seems like they were coming from that pen, which I have. Yes, and somehow you still left weren't in, able uh, to get a girlfriend. But let's see. Let's say for the sake of argument that I'm a girl and I came to your magic show. What do you say to actually uh, uh, make things in a romantic guy on a rash? Okay. Um, Let's see your technique. Have you, have you, have you seen any card tricks? Ha we, um, cut, we cut to the actual magic show. Up next, we got Greg the Magician. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! We hey. love you! Woo! Um, I I usually use a green wand, but I I, I lost it. But I have, a, I, have, I have this one today. Okay, everyone, <laughs> are you ready? It's um, <laughs> we were born ready. Woo woo woo! Great, <laughs> great. This Take is, your this time. Is, You're <laughs> doing great. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, it's just, I'm nervous. All right. Keep Greg on. Uh, bring in uh, uh Lena. Hey, do you think that's a, a magician kind of cute? Oh, wow. Nope. Uh, I'm going to make something really crazy happen. Just just you wait. Um, you do have to remember a few intricate things. Uh, first, choose a card. Cho um, Me? Yeah. I okay. have them spread out here. I'm, they're probably random and stuff. OK. Okay. okay. Um, my look at your card. Single, Don't show me way. though. Don't show me. Goodness, if I see it, that would be a Hey, Mr. Drug the Magician, my girlfriend is single, by the way. And she thinks you're cute. You know, I didn't. Uh, sorry, I'm very. I need to. So, um, you have it memorized? Yes. And you didn't show. Okay, now put it in the deck. I'm going to hold it, just kind of shove it in there. Okay. Yeah, any, anywhere you want, though. Okay. Dip, I put it in there. Yeah. Right. You satisfied? Mr. Greg like, the Magician, your palms are sweaty. I, I've, I've been, I've, I've just never. Karen, nervous. stop being a bully. I, all right. Uh, I'm going to get a drink from. Okay. I'm going to shuffle, shuffle the cards. All right. I'm going to shuffle. Yeah, it's. I'm look. I'm shuffling them for real. Do you see that it's shuffled? You're really shuffling them. Yeah, that's a real shuffle. That this and okay. Now oh, and now this is all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess your card. Just think of it in your mind. Okay. No! Is it the Queen of Hearts? No. It was close. It was close. Are you sure it, it was wasn't? Close. It was because I this would be kind of a reveal, but all of the cards are the Queen of Hearts. 
Mine was a four. Can you show me the card? I put it back in your deck. Um, <laughs> um, um, tag out Faustino and um, uh, Lana. So you literally handed her a deck of cards that where every card was the queen of hearts and, you, and it still somehow didn't work? I uh, I don't know if she was lying. <laughs> I don't know if she was lying to me. Like this, he just refused to I admit that you had a, that you had the right call. I, I, I guess is it. All right. I didn't want to. I didn't want to reveal this to her. But yes. the card the the cards are actually all different. They're real cards. It's a sleight of oh, hand. Oh, I thought it was I, like I, a trick deck. I think I messed it up. I think oh, I messed it up, oh. and she actually did have the I. So I kind, of the, I kind of shoved the blame onto her by making it seem like I had a fake deck. Well, you can't do that, man. That's just... Is that where I messed mean. up? Is that I like... I think so, yes. Absolutely. You missed, you missed out on a golden opportunity. Uh, no, I heard it, uh, that voice resonates with what I'm feeling inside. Hi, Sarah. I was just walking by again. You guys are, are you sitting in this cafe discussing magic yes. again. Um, you didn't do anything wrong. I was really trying to be supportive. I'm married. My friend's just a bitch. Wow. <laughs> that, Why you know, that makes are we trying to watch magic again? About it in the see? end. Yeah. And scene! Give me that for team three. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Thank you. Great job, Team Three. Uh, 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 definitely not enough magic in info. So thank you all for that. Uh, we do need more um, a magic tricks during info shows. Uh, okay, so that is the last of the teams for the night. But before we get uh, any farther, let me uh, pull up who is the next team of the who is going to be headlining next week. Rather, we have. Sensible people from Reno, Nevada. Woo! So definitely make sure to tune in Sunday, same Facebook time, same Facebook place for that show. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, also, uh, 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 this is also a great time to thank everyone who helps make this show possible. We have all of the volunteers who come in and spend their free and they have very little free time helping keeping this running here. They all, all they all deserve Yay. a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all. I feel like I I wish I could like throw on my roses to you and then I'm gonna watch you try to awkwardly catch them with, without getting pulled. Okay. So with that in mind, uh, before we have the head head on a line up, we do have a few minutes for any promotion. So if anybody has a jam, a show, a class. A uh, recipe for meatloaf that they'd love to share with everyone in the room and the large Facebook audience. Please, uh, please uh, pop your camera on and I'll call on you in turn. Anyone? Uh, Tanya. Hi, hi everyone. Um, so this Saturday at 8 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to be in an improv show um, called For the Love of Dogs. It is through Leela San Francisco. Um, once again, it's uh, Saturday, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can watch it on the Leela SF YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and put that in for you guys. Yeah, I'd love to see some of you there. Um, it, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be wonderful. And it's going to be all on the spot and, and fantastic and exciting. So I hope I see some of you there. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Tanya. Definitely check that out if you can. Faustina. Yes, um, before I do my thing, I'll uh, make sure that any uh, links that are posted in the chat. Also, please visit our wonderful Facebook uh, community page, uh, Inner City Improv Hub. And post links there so you can find it after the jam closes and we terminate all traces of our text uh, chat. Um, they don't have a whole lot of things other than, first of all, uh, thank you so much for coming to the jam tonight. Uh, give it up for Michael Wachowski for helping run this both techie and hosting tonight while our friends are actually here. So give it up for Michael. And now I and now I fuck it up. And uh just uh anytime if you're in the West Coast, uh if you are the long extended thing, you're on Thursday night in Vegas, come swing by uh Bleach Improv, post uh your downtown improv jam and uh your show, the improvised show. 
a uh, lot of improv opening up a little bit in Vegas. Just the effort to be in the area to come by. And then my last thing was, uh, please share events. Please uh, let people know that inner city is still available for those who have access to improv at home or who want to like, gather with friends from around the world. Uh, keep coming to our events. Uh, right now, our jam is still running strong. It's one state consistent. So just keep spreading the word of what we're doing and being so much more fun every week and minute for us to have y'all out. Okay, thank you, Faustino. Um, uh, George. Hello, everybody. Uh, we have a show coming up on September 24, Rich Lee Team. This is under Queen City Comedy. Um, uh, details are on the Queen City Woo! Comedy Facebook page. Uh, I'll be performing together with Diana, who you saw a while ago with Binge Watch. Also, on the, on the same day, September 24, we have another show with Typical Heroes under Smack. And that's, uh, we do comedy sketch and improv together, live and recorded. Hope to see you guys there. Okay. Thanks, Thank Intercity. You. For having me. Thank you, George, for um, uh, coming. Uh, last call, anybody else have something to promote? Uh, Angel. Mm -hmm. Hi, hello. So I'm part of a team called the Improfessionals and every mo every Monday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time or 4 p.m. Pacific Time, we have a, a 30 minute show uh, on the Facebook page, Socially Distant Improve. So if you'd like to watch, we'll be very happy. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Uh, uh, last call. Anybody else who has something to promote? Uh, uh, Mana. Hey, <laughs> I'm trying to turn. Why do I always share everything on my phone? Um, I was in a, a podcast recently called Heroes Don't Do Paperwork. That's made by a couple of people in Ottawa that are super funny. So I'm super excited about that. So go listen to that. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, check that uh, podcast out. I'm sure uh, Lana and everyone were uh, uh, great in it. Uh, Don, do you have something? Vintage Improv Festival is actually named after Vintage Improv Festival. <laughs> that festival is happening this week. If you are already uh, signed up, great. If you want to sign up, you should sign up. Also, there will be a jam, which is going to be at, get this, guys, 12 midnight until everyone falls asleep on camera. So that about be, 12, I'm a 30. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But theoretically, I'm supposed to be alive until at least 1.30 or 2 every night of the festival. Come on in. I put the uh, link there, not link, but the, the number, the way that I get in, which is the only way I know which definitely gets you in. And thank you for your time. Thank you, Don. Uh, oh, Diana, do you have something to promote? I uh, can't hear you. Shame on me, rookie move. Uh, thank you, Michael. I'm teaching a workshop in the Vintage Improv Festival next Friday, the 10th. If you go to the Vintage Improv Fest, you can find it. It's called Five Ways Into Character. So check it out. You might enjoy it. And Binge Watch has a show next saturday night when our guest artist will be michael uh, michelle j gilliam she's amazing thank you yes she is yes thank she you is. so much uh, uh uh last call anybody else who has something to promote only once only twice sold uh i have one or two things i'll do i'm uh, quickly uh i am one of the co-founders of a lot more better improv and self-expression we do blue humor jams uh monday nights and saturday mornings we do grounded scenes jam tuesdays or thursdays we have a comedy writing group that we're trying this on a Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific. So please, please, I'm a like and follow a lot more better in profit self-expression on Facebook if you've not done so. And I'm also in an improvised sitcom live from the asylum. Uh, uh, Jennifer, who you saw earlier tonight, is also in that. Uh, it's a great time. And we have, have the first episode of season two coming this Thursday. So please uh, check that out live from the asylum, also on Facebook. Uh, and with that in mind, I believe we are through all of the preliminaries, so we will get on with the headliner. Just give me one second. Yep, we, we of course, I also, I've seen them a couple of times in the past, and they are always quite a show. Uh, uh, let's have it up for Binge Watch. Yay!
Hello, hello! Diana, we cannot hear you again. The rookie move hath returned. I swear, right? Let's hear it for Dan Wilson, everybody. Yeah! Oh, well, thank you very much. And for Diana oh. Brown, even more so. And let's hear it for Michael hosting and Angel hosting. Yeah! Hey, thank you. We are Binge Watch, and what we do is we take two of the shows that you are currently binge watching. Uh, mash them together and make a whole new show. So we need to know. Put it in the chat. What are you currently binge watching and why do you love it? So we've had a chance to do a wide variety of shows over the years, mashing together all sorts of stuff. We do like to take two shows who are as far apart from each other as humanly possible. Um, and we have got a few shows earlier today, I believe, from our Facebook post, Diana. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. We've got Golden Girls, The there Wonder Years because of coming of age. Ooh. And Golden uh, Girls for the same reason. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming <laughs> into their own. Those ladies are coming into their own. Uh, we did get some wonderful suggestions from the inner city uh, improv community. And uh, one of those is DC Titans. And they love it because it is refreshing to see. Uh, well, it's dark. They love the darkness of the story. And they also love how Jason um, uh, Momoa redeems himself in this performance. So there you go. We also got Travelers, a science fiction uh, show involving time travel. Ooh. And also a show called Clickbait. So, Don, give us information on Clickbait. We'll dive yes. into more other shows you've gotten today. Tell us why you love Clickbait, Don. And thank you. And by the way, your background's amazing. Um, let's see. Also, Mythbusters. They've been watching this show uh, since they were a kid. And they love science and explosions. And it's their comfort show. Uh, uh, Money Heist, season five, uh, because they love grand, absurd heists. And the sound of actors speaking in their in their native language. Very cool. Uh, this individual prefers subtitles to dubbing by far. And Sense8, a group of people around the world. Um, and they're suddenly linked mentally and they must find a way to survive being hunted by those who think they are a threat and they also love the Star Trek and the Great British Baking Show have come in the chat. Ooh, ooh, it's very, very hard to walk away from both of those. And Land of the Giants. So we've got a lot of options now. Um, here we go. Our description of clickbait. Oh. A man gets abducted and goes viral with a video. This is once it's. It says once it hits 5 million views, he will be unalived. Damn, okay. So we have a lot to play with. We do. Diana, which of these, which of the shows, either before or current, speaks to you the most? Wow. I mean, I, you know, I said I wasn't going to take anything British, but dang, Great British Baking Show? Joy in the Tent? I'm sorry. I got to go for it. Okay. Well, if we're going to go Great British Baking Show, I think we also need to go then with Money Heist. Ooh. So welcome everyone to the very first episode of the brand new show, Money in the Pie. I um. Yes. I, I I've got to say it. Please no, please do. I, I'm I'm all a Twitter. Wondering. I've got a soggy bottom. I mean, my my pie has a completely soggy bottom, and I know that's not allowed. No, it's not allowed. We cannot pull this off. With a soggy bottom. Oh no, I've got to have a pie good enough to get into the into the show, and then um, convince everyone there so that then we can abscound with the grand prize. Yes, and that grand prize goes where? In the pie. In the pie. In the pie. And if your right. crust is soggy, then the jewels. When you lift the pie, the jewels would stay in the crust, and they would not leave when you make the swap. They only do a royalty version of the Great British Baking Show once a year. Once a year they bring in the royalty and they cannot be family jewels. I've got to ask a question, though. 
Of course you do. You always have it. Why on earth would the Queen let her family jewels go in a pie? I mean, number one, I know a jewel is something that is really, really strong. And if you bake it for a really long time, it's probably not going to crack. Is this Are you make me go over the entire flowchart again? Yes. I swear to God, if you weren't my wife's second cousin, you'd be off this team immediately. Third cousin, twice removed, but who's counting? You apparently. <laughs> Nevertheless. I like to be exact. You're the one that told me. You told me that we needed to be exact because baking is like science and yeah. robbery is like science. Yes, and so is. we need to be specific, like science. Science! Yes, exactly. <laughs> And nevertheless, you come in here walking over yourself. If we were in a lab... I did not walk over myself. I'd have to be outside of myself to walk over myself. I'm inside myself right now, and if I were outside myself, I'd be worried. Are you done? Yes. <laughs> This has taken me. Did you ever wonder <laughs> about a palm? A palm is like a lap. You have it, but then when you do this, it goes away. Whereas with a lap, you have it when you're sitting, but when you stand up, it goes away. And you put your palms up there, and that just made me think of it. <laughs> just hold on, I need to look up. See, I've got you thinking about it now. I'm looking about uh, the effects of alcohol and when they show up in children. I'm guessing you knew about 30 years. Because quite clearly your mother was at the gin quite frequently. Oh, me mum loved her. She liked to tipple now and again, but let's not be, you know, all istis about it. I mean, she, you know, everybody had a tipple back then. Gotta have a giggle. Do you know, some, Sometimes I worry about you. Have you ever seen me once? No, and that's what I want to talk about. You've giggle. never once had a giggle. And I think your life would be better if you had a giggle now and then. My life would be better if we could get to the competition and get the jewels in the pie, which we would then take out. Do you know who you sound like right now? William Shatner. No, You've you, got you that. You take that back. Way you take of that back right now. Where your words have great big... Pinterest gaps in the middle. Bet you didn't think I knew who Pinter was. <laughs> I did not. And I'm convinced you learned it at some kind of trivia contest. Well? Over your chips and beer. At the pub, got to have a giggle. Again, with the giggling. I am not freaking Elmo. Tickle me, Elmo. You are my, my cousin, third cousin, twice removed, once told me that you are very ticklish and in a certain frame of mind, you can get a bit giddy, so she's actually seen you have a giggle. <laughs> Look, the feels very no boy. There is no <laughs> photographic proof of that. So that you think. <gasps> I brought you onto this team as a favour for your family. So technically you didn't bring me, I was foisted upon you. Yes, exactly. You were foisted upon me. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yes. Every other member of this team is a highly skilled professional, all of whom have rap sheets as long as your leg, which is also as long as your arm, unless, of course, you're not proportioned the way I expect you to be. But regardless! How many times do you think you've given this speech? <laughs> do you? At least 12. 14 One, two, and a half. The 14th uh, time... Uh, well, 15th time, I uh, passed out from utter boredom. Wonderful. So while my blood pressure rises higher and higher, you're getting a nice nap in. How do you know I'm not working for the Great British Breaking Show? You don't, do you? <laughs> that would make perfect sense now that you mention it. You've been nothing but an obstruction from the very first day. Yeah, I'm, I have, haven't I? You've undercooked, overcooked. You've found a way to make things savoury that are designed to be sweet, and I haven't still figured out how you did that. I've found unusual uses for salt people have never even thought of before. It is a science. And you're a mad scientist. Oh, you're mad. I'm a scientist. 
I am not mad. I'm <laughs> furious. I am That's furious. What you did there. That was terrific. You turned it and you took mad and you made it. I was simply appreciating your ability. You know, it would be so much easier if I could just dispose of you. I wouldn't have to deal with you on this project. I wouldn't have to see you over Thanksgiving. Which, why we even have Thanksgiving in Britain is completely beyond me. Because my cousin, third cousin, three times removed. Married an American, yes, I know. We that would be you. We Halloween now. What sort of nonsense is that? Yeah, well, you're the one I have to deal with on Boxing Day and I have to explain it over and over and then you completely get it confused year after year after bloody year. I mean, and if you don't like it here, go back to America. I'm trying to say that we should celebrate 4th of July. Your side of the family is completely... They're we like the... the fireworks. And you only get them here on the Queen's Jubilee and we don't have that very often now, do we? Nevertheless, the pie! The jewels, the escape, the wealth, the money, the power, the going to Ibiza for the rest of our lives and having a wonderful, wonderful life. I like the idea of Ibiza. Thank you. We agree on something. Look at that. I think I've broken something. I think you have. I mean, it's definitely a blood vessel or two. God, I hate you. Oh, no, at least you feel something strong. Is it something I said? Look, as head of security, we are relying on you. We've had so many issues with the royal family. We just need to be sure that there won't be any incidents. Yeah, right. I mean, everyone's just had the prints on that car show. What was the whole, um, I forget what it's called. I think Matt LeBlanc was in the American version. Well, ever since we had Prince... Drive, Sp baby, drive. I, I suppose so. I don't actually... I don't know. ...watch the BBC, generally speaking. I tend to constrain myself to YouTube videos, but only the educational ones, the ones on psychology and history and things like that. You're so far up yourself, you can... Never mind. I do believe you are planning on being quite rude. I was, but I stopped myself in the nick of time. You know, they call you by a single letter around here that you're so proficient in your security details. Do tell. Yes, they call you N, because M was taken. Yes, she was. Because nobody gets past you. No, no one does. So can you guarantee me there will be nothing untoward occurring with the royal family's appearance on this... From what I understand, quite banal and pointless exercise and national cookery. I don't think it's really about the cookery. I think it's about the opportunity for the old girl to trot out the jewels and wear them and have them baked the in a queen's pie. The motivations are pristine on this matter, I assure you. All right. I get the impression that you don't take this task particularly seriously. You're not one of those democratic socialists, are you? Anarchist. I'm a realist. My friend, we live in a monarchy. There's nothing real about us. Well, I live in my own space. I simply work here. Sometimes. I see. And your own space involves what? Well... I live in a bubble of my own choosing. I do assume you don't mean that literally. Well, sometimes, but that's just a hobby. But I digress. Look, have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? Take a look at me. My bearing, my way of speaking, my general sense of poshness. Do you so, believe yes. I have ever in my life spent a time playing a game called Dungeons and Dragons? Well, it's pretty much your history. The dungeons, perhaps, yes. The dragons, only in literature. I've met your wife. No, there's no need for that. <clears throat> that was I got you, though. You see, that's the point. You have to find the weak spot and then pierce it ever so slightly just to make sure they're 
paying attention. I am not the enemy here. Everyone's the enemy. I was going to ask if you'd ever played Dungeons and Dragons because I identify as chaotic neutral. I have I no do. idea what that means. I do what chaotic I need to do. Chaotic neutral. I am not aligned to any particular body, entity, ruling power. You what? are not loyal to the Queen, is what you're saying. I'm not, not disloyal. Loyal. I'm sorry, you say that you you drink disc oil. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I flustered you. That pleases me. Great. Not so much flustered as utterly confused, bamboozled, and concerned. I begin to think you're not the right person for this job and should be removed immediately. This is all a ruse to say, would you like to have a coffee? I know you're not happy with your wife. I, well... I've been watching you. I, I... You have quite a bearing. Let's face it, you're... Well, you're a tasty bit of totty. I... I... That's a nice way of saying you're, well, attractive. I... I'm not asking for anything beyond a cup of coffee, but I think it would be not so unpleasant to sit across the table from you and enjoy your visage. I... We don't have to have physical connection. We can simply have a meeting of the minds. That's all I'm asking for. I think That's that can be arranged. I'm lonely. I, um, understand that. Life with the royal family is an isolating one, to be sure. And when one has a home life that is, how did you put it, in the dungeon with the dragon, a bit challenging. She can't help herself. That's how she was raised. Then you would... No more than I would. She has not spoken of her history to me ever. We've always been focused on the present, on the task at hand, on the duty that I have to the Queen and the Crown and the monarchy. Things like history in the past have not been concerns of ours. I worry about you sometimes. But you also... I've shown a great deal of interest in me, which I must say baffles and confuses me. Does it flatter you at all? Hmm? Are you at the least bit flattered by it? I don't know. It's an unusual feeling, not entirely common to myself. I suppose I might. It'll take some time to get used to it first, to see how it, it sorts itself out. That's fair. So then, um, Biscuit... Yes. Certainly. Tea? Absolutely, of course. Right. Um, right, so make sure that no one steals anything or kills anybody or causes a scene or... Or steps on a corgi, I get it. Oh, for God's sake, that's the most important thing of all. We can handle a proletariat uprising. We cannot handle a corgi incident. You know why the Queen wants to do this, don't you? PR, for the most part. Yes, People like and... the show more than they like her. Well, the PM said if she'd go through with this, then the next time he, she comes for dinner at his house, they can have beans on toast. It's her favourite meal. I have my doubts about you, but the level of intelligence you are displaying, and I do mean that which you have received and therefore used, is impressive. When you're done with this television show, you should come work for the... Uh, the M6. Why do you think we're having this conversation? <laughs> Devious. I like it. Okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just got to, you know, oh, take my breath. What are you on about over there at table seven? What is... Oh, Judy. So Hi. Good. Thank God you're here, Judy. Thank God. Hi. So... You know, I do that TV show. I'm, I'm the host for that TV show. You oh, know, pop it, I know. I know, you know. I know, you know. I like you so much. I like so much of how you care for me. I do, I do. I, and you, you watch over me and you give, you give me what I need. 
and I'm a neurotic wreck. I'm a neurotic, I'm an absolute neurotic, I'm a completely mess. I'm the showrunner. It's my job to spritz you and keep you dry and... You know, at first I spritz you to get the shine off and then I blot you to keep you dry and I bring you your little treats and your little um, upset tum-tum-tums. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Close the door behind you, close the door behind you. Close All the door right. Behind you. Yes. So, what? Well, go, go on. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a coffee. It's not tea. I like coffee better. Don't tell the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Queen, that horrible hag. Um... You didn't hear that. Nobody heard that. There's no cameras or microphones in this particular uh, room. I've checked for them. I, I swept as well, yes. Yeah, it's all right, Poppet. You work very hard. I you do. work very, very hard for the show. Oh, no. I do. <laughs> I do. What, what if, what if, what if, what, what, what if you didn't have to? What, what, what if, 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 if you had the opportunity to get... <laughs> Are you going to fire me? Am I going to be fine? I don't want to be fine. No, 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 no. I'm like, I keep you wet and then I keep you dry. Don't do that to me. No, 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 no. Okay, I feel... I'm talking about fire. I'm talking about an opportunity. Who? An opportunity. You see, you see, you see, you see. I know, I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. I'm not, I'm not looking for that sort of opportunity here in the locked door. No, 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 it's, you know, it's amazing. When the cameras go on, I can be perfectly calm, but in private conversation, I'm an absolute wreck. So, I have been approached with an opportunity that um, if certain things happen in a certain order at certain times, with certain guests we're approaching our show in the near future, I would have the resources to flee the country and live a life of leisure for the rest of oh, my days. Poppet, I'd miss you. You're, you're missing the main driver here, is that I'd like you to come with me. <gasps> um, and I would also require your assistance to make this happen. Is this a proposal of marriage? It's a proposal. Because I'm already spoken for, but, you know, that could change. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I don't think... even think it's real. I've tried, you know. The mm. ring of the relationship. <laughs> the ring. <laughs> well, you know, I have to say that anyone who would give you a false ring is clearly a false heart. That's poetry. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very you, much. You're something, Poppet. Well, you, know, you do realise that half of my lines and camera are improvised. I'm fairly good with words. When, I took an know, improv but... class once and it taught me to say yes and... Hmm. Well, I would like you to say yes and to this proposition, which would allow us to, again, we would never be able to return to England. Oh, it's foggy and overcrowded. That's my point, exactly. And smoggy. It's not always fog, it's smog. It's a bit of everything. It's smog. So I just need you to maybe make sure the cameras are on certain parts of the stage and not your on... good side your good side right no. we have the opportunity here oh. to work with certain interested parties no. and with those interested parties to go ahead and abscond with well the crown jewels for which there are several highly eminent buyers um who would be willing to pay top price dollar not just for the jewels but also for the embarrassment it would cause to the queen and in so doing would possibly set off a lot of economic and geopolitical uncertainty but for us it would mean a lifetime now bear with me here i'm thinking the south of france or possibly melbourne now i know what you're thinking melbourne Australia, but it's very nice there. I like the idea of Melbourne. So we just need to make sure that the camera's not pointing in certain directions during certain acts of sleight of hand that will occur that will transfer jewels off of our royal guests into our not so royal pastries. Well, you know, Bryce, who's been working camera three, is a bit of a fan of mine. <laughs> Yes, yes. Absolutely. And I could distract him. Oh, would you do that? I could do that. And, you know, he's the one that's supposed to keep all the close-ups on the jewels because he's really good with shiny objects. 
Excellent. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll tell my contact and uh, that we're going to be there. I'll be just fine. Just, just hold on a moment. Just okay, hold, still on. Ring. hold on, Poppy. It's still now, yes. Once I do this for you, you're not just going to strand me somewhere between here and Melbourne, are you? No, 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 no. I want it in writing, Poppy. No, no. I no. want I want an advance toward my future. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um. Hello. Calling about the particular deal we talked about, and there are possibly some complications. But when you get this call, please feel free to, you know, give me give me a, a ring back, and um, maybe have a solicitor involved. Thank you. Bye. Love you. I don't know why I said that. Shit. Oh well. There we go. Love you. It's a, it's, a, it's a sort of a reflex when I'm Number nervous. three will have their eyes on you, Poppet. And don't think you're going to get the sprints and dab tonight. I want you going on that camera sweaty. Well, I'm already that way. It's just when I get nervous like this, it's like I'm talking to my mother for the most part. And I get sort of a knee-jerk reaction. I should have known all beautiful, handsome men like you have mummy problems. Count me out, Poppet. And whatever you think you're going to do, camera three and I'll be watching hard. Oh. <laughs> yes, hi, sorry. Um, when you get this, we're going to have to kill some people. <laughs> right. Um, talk with you soon. Thanks for the opportunity. Love you. No, shit. Um, bye. And that's our show. Thank you. Woo! 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 Yay! Woo! 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 Thank you so uh, much. Uh, is there somewhere that people can find you online on the um, a yeah, series if, of two? If, if you go onto YouTube, just do a search for Binge Watch Improv or Binge Watch and Friends in particular will take you right to our channel you will find an archive of our in-person live shows as well as our online virtual shows we've been doing for the last couple of years. You can also find us at bingewatchimprov.com and you can be a part of the Binge Watch and Friends community on Facebook. And even better, our community on patreon.com if you're really digging it. I don't know what that last side is, but thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. What a blast. Thank you. Uh, don't go yet. We still have some time for a line game tonight, which I just remembered we need and which I'm making up at the top of my head. Uh, so we are going to go with Halloween costumes. So let's say for example, uh, if the suggestion was banana, it could be, hey, I'm going to be a banana this year and everyone's going to find my costume appealing. Uh. <laughs> so let's get a suggestion of a food. Banana. <laughs> food. Literally thins. any other food. Wheat what? thins. Wheat thins. Okay, if you have a funny tagline for I'm gonna be wheat thins this year, turn on and turn on your camera and we'll call on people in turn. <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> I'm going to be wheat thins for Halloween. Sorry, it has gluten. <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm going to be wheat thins this year for Halloween, minus the wheat. <laughs> hey, I'm going to be wheat thins this year for Halloween, but I'm going to be stoned wheat thins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Who's next? There we go. I'm going to be wheat thins for Halloween. Do you like my figure? <laughs> I'm going to be wheat thins this year, but after all the weight I put on for the pandemic, I'll just be the box. <laughs> uh, yes, Dawn. I'm going to be wheat thins for Halloween. But to be honest, I've always been a little square. No! Oh, yes! Let's get a suggestion of a profession. Preschool teacher. Was that preschool or high school or what? Preschool 
teacher. Preschool teacher. I'm going to be a preschool teacher for Halloween. <laughs> I'm going to be a preschool teacher for Halloween. I'm underpaid. <laughs> Anyone else, really? Okay. I'm going to be a preschool teacher for Halloween. I'm covered in shit. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to be a preschool teacher for Halloween, surrounded by my little minions. <laughs> ah. I'm going to be a preschool teacher this year for Halloween because the store was all out of post-school teacher costumes. <laughs> oh, Don. I'm going to be a preschool teacher this year, and I'm going to have free breakfast, and then I'm going to have pre-lunch. And then I'm going to have pre-dinner. I'm going <laughs> to... I love that ending in the middle of a thing. Go on. Nice. I'm going to be a preschool teacher for Halloween. No. Oh. Oh, oh, nice. nice. <laughs> oh, your background meant I didn't get uh, Last call. Uh, anything else? And then I'll move I'll on. I'll be a preschool teacher this year. As seen by the parents of small children after the pandemic. Oh, oh nice. nice. And on that note, let's get one more suggestion. Give a give us a suggestion of literally anything. Love. I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be love for Halloween. Okay, let's give that a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. I'm gonna be love this Halloween, so don't hate me! Yeah. <laughs> we could never hate you, Angel. Tanya? I'm gonna be love for Halloween. Does, does anyone else wanna, wanna be love for Halloween? Does anyone else wanna be love for Halloween? Oh. <laughs> for Halloween. Does anybody else wanna be love for Halloween? <gasps> Lana. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Lana. Did you have one, Lana? Or not? Okay. Oh. I'm going to yeah. be love for Halloween. I'll be playing hide and seek. Good luck finding me. No! <laughs> uh, the whale. Oh, sorry. I was, I was just going to say that I, I, I think that Lana wanted, wanted to be loved. For Halloween. Okay, fair I, enough. I, I, was, <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to think of, of something involving that love is not very scary, but I, I hadn't quite gotten to, uh, to the joke part of it yet. <laughs> it's kind of funny anyway. Carry on. I'm counting it. I'm gonna be Jennifer. Courtney Love for Halloween. Yes. Oh, yes! Uh, okay, let's do one more suggestion of literally anything. Black okay. artist. Cargo pants. <laughs> I heard cargo pants. I'm going to have cargo <laughs> pants for Halloween. Uh, I'm going to wear cargo pants for Halloween. Yep, just just for Halloween. That's just a costume. <laughs> I'm I'm going to wear cargo pants for Halloween because I'm just that cool. Dawn. Or not. I'm going to have cargo pants for Halloween because, dang it, they got pockets! <laughs> <laughs> the women understand what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> Let's hear it for pocket enthusiasm. Damn. Well, I'm going to be cargo pants for Halloween. Um, my date, I'm hoping, is going to be love. Has anyone seen love? Love? <laughs> anyone love? I'm cargo pants. I love cargo pants. Oh no. I cargo <laughs> pants love. Uh, anyone else? Lana. I'm going to be sexy cargo pants for Halloween. It's just like pocket over here. Pocket <laughs> over here. Woo! And then like a, um, another pocket. <laughs> I'm going to be sexy cargo pants for Halloween, and all my pockets are going to be inside out. <laughs> Don. I'm going to be cargo pants for Halloween this year. Livingston, I presume? 
<laughs> Last call. Anybody else to finish off the line game? Cargo pants. I'm going to be cargo pants for Halloween. You can fill me with treats. Woo <laughs> and that is Halloween costume. Woo Woo okay, let's all have our cameras on as we wrap up the jam. I believe we've literally been through everything I could think of, but I'm sure three people will send me a note of things I've forgotten. So let's all just uh, uh, then we get a, let's all wave goodbye and I'll get a quick screenshot. Yep, and then we'll uh, just buzz, wave goodbye to the audience as I end the stream. This has been the, the Intercity Longform Improv Jam! Yay!